Here the Bible says, be careful of nothing. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. In other words, when you have prayed, it's not your part to, to know how it will happen. But there is a strategist who will see how to bring what you have prayed about. So if you are looking for a job, be careful of nothing. Just pray and give thanks. God will strategize how you shall receive your job. If you are looking for courtship, be careful of nothing. Your part is to pray and be certain of God. Then after that, in a way that you don't know how, God will move elements. We say, who shall we send? to make the sayings of that sister come to pass. God will start moving the pieces to make sure you are more than a conqueror. I'm talking today about the strategizing God. We see in the book of Kings then when they say bring me a minstrel then the spirit of the Lord came down and said make the valley full of dishes. You shall not see wind or a rain yet the valley shall be filled with water God was now coming in an unusual way because he specializes in things not impossible you can't put him in a straight jacket if he wants him by fire he may come maybe by a whirlwind or by a steel small so they made the valley full of dishes then in the morning because they were in war God caused the sun to shine upon the waters and the Moabites thought it was blood so they went to see what has happened to Israel and they were destroyed so it was strategy of God to make Moabites defeated by Israel in Joshua chapter 8 God arranges the army he strategizes that put this uh, uh, group ahead and then they pretend to run away then these ones in ambushments they will finish the men of I the strategies of Jehovah can never be defeated he is the greatest strategist what the devil strategizes will become not God can defeat the council of Ahithophel you don't have to know how it will happen be careful of nothing God will know how it will come to pass the whole question is not yours you may not know how you may not know when but something in you is telling you that I have believed therefore have I spoken when Mary asked how shall these things be she was told how question is answered this way the Holy Ghost shall have overshadow you how will HIV leave you the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you how will those habits leave you the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you how are you going to overcome the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you so don't even ask how God said so I believe it that settles it if God called you to preach and maybe you are a shy person and your heart comes to the throat solo it and preach God will take care of what you cannot take care of you, you, you don't have to ask what if it doesn't happen because the problem of many people they want to say what if it doesn't happen it seems people, how you are going to finally get there it's not to worry there is a strategic department with angelic forces that will see to it that you will be paid for your hallelujah.